Yow, yow, what's shaking, turkey bacon? It's your host with the toast, Doc Mom Bender, and this is Doc's Rants. Wesley Snipes and the internet, let's talk! So besides the whole Chris Rock and Will Smith thing completely overshadowing anything else that happened during the Oscars, and for the record, I don't watch the Oscars, just moments from the Oscars like most sensible people with a soul. Um, Wesley Snipes appeared on a red carpet before the event and his appearance seemed to worry some Twitter people who say that he's lost a significant amount of weight. Uh, One person tweeted, even his voice sounds breathy. Another person hashtagged, uh, Wesley Snipes looking frail, uh, kind of worried about him all of a sudden. Somebody else hashtagged, hope he is okay. You see what I'm getting at. The Twittiots are expressing their concern. I understand. I will have to go flag on the play. First of all, Wesley Snipes, bro, is 59 years old. 59. Your body's not going to stay the same forever. Some people age better than others. Also, keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? That skin starts sagging. Niggas get old, man. He, he was either in prison and did that bid, or he was at the MK Ultra joint, or he was at Clone Aid. But I think he came look he, like he came home looking kind of different. But they all do, one way or another. Like they all, like everybody does. I know when I did my little bid in Florida, my boy Elgin and Cameron came to pick me up. Shout out to them. And um, first thing they said when I got in the car was, bro, we almost didn't even recognize you over there. You put on so much weight. So this is a relatively normal thing, but you got to keep in mind, this is an actor we're talking about here. These people constantly have to change their weight, change their appearance. I I, I saw Wesley Snipes' Breakfast Club interview and the other interviews that he was doing promoting Coming to America reboot, where he talks about still being into the martial arts. Tai Chi, uh, working out, strict diet. Now, I'm going to keep it official. I'm going to keep it official. When I seen him on the red carpet, he got to fire the wardrobe coordinator. Right? Like, he got to fire whoever that is. They they got my nigga Snipes looking like a Masonic vampire on the offseason. He had the eyeshadow, freaking eyeliner, and all that on. I'm like, yo, like, what we doing here? You know, that fit was crazy, but he already knew that before he put that bullshit on. Yeah, as a kid, I grew up on his movies, so all jokes aside, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Wesley Snipes. You know what I'm saying? White man can't jump. Um, Nino Brown, his achievements, (laughs) what he done in the game. Wesley Snipes opened the gate for the sexy dark skin niggas such as myself in the 90s to get women. To be factual, we used to have it hard out here, beloved. Him, Denzel Washington, and now who we got? Uh, What's the name? Other dude. Oh, uh, Idris Elba. Basically, what I'm saying is we overcame. (laughs) Thank you guys and all my new subscribers for continuing to ride with me on this journey, man. We're not even scratching the surface like that, but the team is on the way. I'm telling you what's happening. Also, make sure you guys are hitting up SoundCloud every Friday for SFL Boys Podcast. One of my closest friends, Elgin David and Catacomb Chris, they link up once a week and talk about hella funny topics, everything going on in our perceived reality, and, you know, always making time for your people. It's a fire-ass show, and it's on all streaming platforms. That's SFL Boys. That's B-O-I-Z. Definitely check that out. Hey, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. And don't forget to jump in these comments and let me know how you really feel about this whole ordeal. Until next time, I'm Doc Mindbender.